So Nolan Crisp at 1-2 and two in a 4.72 ERA. First pitch to Bradfield is a strike. We are underway in Athens. We need to get out. 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Going to be picked up by Gonzalez, who will throw him out for out number one. And Steve. 0-2 pitch. Called strike three. Hewitt retired, two down for the Commodores. Junior season with the Bulldogs, 3-2 pitch and walked him. Called strike three, Crisp with two called strikeouts. Anderson swings and misses, goes down on three pitches. Good start for Christian Little. Texas A&M went to Nashville much like they did Georgia and won two out of three, and Acton goes down swinging. Left sometimes to right. Tate goes down swinging, Little strikes out the side. How about that? 3-2 pitch. That ball is hit high in the air to right field. Rogers goes back and watches it bang off the scoreboard. Javier Vaz with his fourth home run of the season, RBI number 21, and the Commodores on top, 1-0 here in the second. Yeah, good piece of hitting there by Vaz. Good job kind of waiting it out, laying off the... Close pitch there on the 2-2. Two, two. 14, two homers, four RBI in his last three games, and he ricochets that one off the body of Keegan and in the right field. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Little blooper in the right field. Could be trouble. Long run. It's going to drop for a base hit. Jones was playing deep. He had no chance to get to it. 3-2 pitch, missed inside, bases are loaded. 1st pitch to McAllister on the infield, could score a run and throw to first. They do get the run, no chance for a double play as Rodgers touches the plate. We're tied at 1. 1-2 one, pitch, breaking ball is lifted into right field. Jones comes in, has it in the inning comes to a close, but not before the dogs tie it up. We'll head to the third. One got, uh, you know, all the uh, the makings of possibly being able to do that himself as he shoots that one hard past Crisp for a base hit and the third hit of the night for the Commodores. Crisp already has a career high in strikeouts. Bradfield going now, and he is safe. That was close. Wow, Gonzalez. It was really close. He did Tommy John surgery. Throw back in. Bradfield, it gets away in the center field. He'll take third base. You better hurry because he rounds third in a hurry. Jonathan Cannon and Liam Sullivan. One, two is sliced towards the gap, and it's going to hit and bounce to the wall. Bradfield trots home, and Jones motors into second base with his 17th double of the year, and Vanderbilt's back on top, two to one. Numbers mean exactly what they look like sometimes. That ball is lifted down the line in left field. Deep and it is gone. Right after the visit by Sean Kenny, Dominic Keegan blast one out of here, and it's 4 1 Vanderbilt. Home run number nine, RBI 44 and 45. And given a lead to work with here, 2 0 pitch. And that small is going to go into right field for a base hit. Third hit of the night for the Bulldogs as Anderson takes a big turn around third and stops there. Tate waits on a 3-1 pitch and cranks this one to center field. Racing in now and unable to make the play is Bradfield. Tate's going to slide into second with a double. And Anderson, nobody's paying attention. He's going to slide home and he is safe. Three-two pitch from Little, ball four, first and second for the Dogs. Tying run aboard. 0-2 pitch, got him. Big strikeout for Little. That's his first since he struck out three in the first. Situation. McAllister, high fly ball down the left field line, and it is gone. The Vanderbilt players thought it was foul. But McAllister delivers a high sky ball down the left field line just inside the fair pole, and it's 4-3. to three. I think that may have gone right over the fair pole out there.
at Cambridge High School. 3-2 pitch, walked in. Not a good start for Michael Polk. Here's Vaz. And he rips this one to right field. That's going to score Jones easily, going to roll to the wall. And it's 5-3 Vanderbilt. As Vaz having himself a night, he's homered and he's doubled. He's driven in two runs. 0-2 pitch, got him. And the inning comes to a close. But Polk walked Jones to start the inning, and it comes around to score for him. Tick better than Vanderbilt 6.8. And that ball is cranked to left field and off the base of the wall. Connor Tate heads to second base. Hewitt finally runs it down. Stand up double for Connor Tate. Team leading 14th double. Dogs in business here in the fifth. 1 2 pitch from Berkwich on the infield towards the hole. It's going to get through. Tate touches third. He will score without a throw. And the Dogs are back to within one run as Chaney Rogers delivers a two strike single through the hole at shortstop. Here's the 0 2 pitch outside. Oh, called strike three. Caught the outside corner at field tonight. Check swing and deep in the hole. McAllister can't find the handle, and Bradfield's going to be aboard. That's got to be an infield single. That'll be his third hit of the night. Yeah, but if you're George, you're happy you're facing him late in the inning. We already got two outs. I think. There goes Bradfield. Throw down by Gonzalez. Goes into center field. Bradfield takes off for third base. He's going to reach without a throw. Second stolen base of the night for Bradfield. He's now 30 for 30 on the season. 3-2 pitch. Hit on the ground. McAllister gobbles it up. Long throw. Didn't get him. Hewitt beats it out. Bradfield scores at 6-4. Oh, one from Polk. And that ball is lined into center field. Ticks off the glove of McAllister. Hewitt motors toward third. Here comes the throw. And he is safe. Brian Hill, the third base umpire, right there on top of it. So they will put Keegan on to load the bases. 2-1 pitch. In the air, right side, long run. And it is a fair ball. That's going to clear the bases. That's a ground rule double. That oh, it bounced Georgia over the wall. got lucky there. Yeah, so two runs will score, and they will send Keegan back to third base. Bounced over the wall, but now 8-4 Vanderbilt. Four seed at the SEC tournament. 2-2 pitch, and that ball is hitting the right field. Cheney Rogers comes on to make the play, and the inning comes to a close. But the Commodores play three more. 2-1 pitch from Berkwich. Number up the middle, and second baseman can't come up with it. Colwick boots it. So McAllister aboard with one out. Gonzalez strokes this one down the line. McAllister touches second. He's headed to third. Daly waves him around third. He's going to score without a throw. Gonzalez an RBI double, and Georgia has cut it to 8 5. Cannon tomorrow, and then Sullivan on Sunday. That ball is laced down the right field line. Gonzalez touches third. He scores. Acton hits second with a double. And the Dogs get another run. RBI double for Acton, and it's 8-6. to six. Acton, 2-1 pitch. Blooper, and gloved by the second baseman. Coming around third, here comes the throw to the plate. Acton safe. Never stopped running. Colwick might be shaken up on the play. He made a diving stop to keep the ball from getting to the right field initially. Third lined out in the fifth. On the infield, toss to Vastine covering the second base bag, and the inning comes to a close. But the Bulldogs, 3-1, five-pitch walk. Luke Wagner walks Vastine. 3-2, walked in. So Wagner puts the first two aboard, Vastine and Diaz. Looks back at second, 1-1 one, one pitch. Grounder in the hole. Vastine waved around third. Here comes the throw, and he's safe. Throw into third, and he's out. Bradfield goes into second. They cut down Diaz at third base. An inning ago, it kind of opened up the floodgates, and he strokes another big hit. 
Bradfield touches third. He's going to score without a throw. Two more runs in for Vanderbilt in the inning, and it's 10 to 7. A couple of walks for him, a double, a single, and that is going to drop for another base hit. Third hit of the night for Jones. He's been on base five times, first and second for Vanderbilt. 1 1 pitch. Popped up. Harbor has it. Inning comes to a close. But two more on the board for the Commodores. We head to the seventh. Making his 144th career start. Rolls this one on the infield. Shortstop come over. High throw safe. They kind of had a not a shift, but a shade. And Young had a long run to get to that slow roller. 2-1, Wagner strokes that towards the gap. It's going to hit and roll to the wall. Here comes Rodgers. Scores without a throw. Bulldogs answer back. It's 10-8, RBI double, Cole Wagner. Up the middle, glove, spin move, throw by Carter, and didn't get him. Keegan could not hold on to it. Young made a heck of a play to spin and throw. Run scores, it's 10 to 9. Three balls and a strike to Anderson. Sends this one down the left field line. Hewitt, long run, chases it down in the corner. And the inning comes to a close. But the Gowan was not available on Sunday. So in a tight ball game on Sunday. 0-1 to Vaz, swinging away. Right up the middle, base hit Vaz, another Hit for him, a three-hit night for Javier Vaz. 2-1, Bunt again pushed down the third baseline. It's a beauty. Harbor throws to first and did not get him. The ball bounces into right field, run in. They're going to call interference. He was on the inside part of the line. Yeah, Rodgers had the glove kicked out of his hands. With how far in Harbor was right here in that angle, you can see he's inside the he line. He is. Yep, yeah, he is inside the line. He's responsible for that call. So he is out, and everybody has to go back, right? From the right side for a second time, and sends this one up the chute. Sallow center field. Anderson has it. Bulldogs get out of the jam. Jaden Woods gets the job done. Base hit to center field. Connor Tate comes through for his fourth hit of the night. Harbor on the ground, booted by the shortstop. Young, Tate races the third, runners at the corners for Georgia. Tying run 90 feet away. 3-0 to Rogers. Ball four, bases loaded. One-two pitch, called strike three. Schultz painted at the knees. Two down in the inning. 2-2, that ball has hit a mile in the air to right field. Jones backing up, makes the crab, nearly got over his head, and the Bulldogs leave the bases loaded in the eighth. 3-0, Nathan Detmer, and that is ball four, and Bradfield is aboard. Let's see how long before he tries to take second base. Runner goes. Missed inside, third stolen base of the night for Bradfield, number 31 on the season. 2-1, line drive, center field, going to fall in front of Anderson. Bradfield will score without a throw, and the Commodores get another run. It's 11-9. Third RBI of the night, 3-1, ball four. First and second for the Commodores as Pearson. Pearson, 2-2 pitch to Vaz. Cold strike three. <laughs> now it's Gregson's turn to get full blast from Vandy. 1-0 pitch. Strokes this one towards the gap. Hewitt has it tracked, and the Commodores have won the series opener. They defeat Georgia 11-9. And they are now 11 and 11 in the SEC, pick up their 30th win of the season.